Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna and today I want to talk about how to protect our babies during this pandemic. Especially if you're going to go see the pediatrician, either to a clinic or a hospital. So um, I hope this will help you and let's start. So one of the first things that I want to recommend is for you, the parent, to wear the face mask. And usually at any hospital or clinic, they usually will let you know to do that. And I'm pretty sure you're actually doing that already. So let's get started with what to do to protect our babies. One thing that I recommend to protect your babies if they are zero to six months old is to wear a mini baby face shield. So there's these ones are very cute and very safe for your baby so actually hospitals are using those in order to protect babies during the pandemic so you can see some over here and also in the description below and these ones should be very safe for your baby and just make sure that you're watching your baby at all times that you're keeping an eye on your baby when the baby is wearing the face shield so as well if you have babies six to two years I do recommend wearing a face shield, but the face shield that I recommend is more like a soft uh, hat shield. So this one has a little soft plastic and they come with their little hat. You can actually give it to your baby and they can, uh, you can actually detach that area from it. So you, those, that's another way that you can actually protect your baby. So babies that are closer to the two year um, mark, they can actually wear their face face mask if you have them at all times, watching them at all times. Um, my baby recently went to her 18 month appointment and then we managed to have her wearing her face shield as well as a mask during the waiting area. Definitely it took a little bit more of practice uh, at home to be wearing the face shield for a longer period of time. So we did practice at home for some days before we actually went into the appointment. She was able to wear that hat from the start to until the end of the appointment. So we were very proud of her. Although the mask, she only wore it for a little bit of time in the wearing area when we know that there was more people there uh, since she's so little as well. So I know that right now you're probably thinking, well, my baby, it's very active. It will be touching everything. My baby will not last one minute with that face shield or face mask. So um, in that case, I do recommend using one of those rain covers for your stroller. So if you notice the rain cover for the strollers are actually plastic. All of it is plastic. So if you want to protect your baby and you know your baby is very active and you will not keep his hands or her hands off of anything you put on them. Um, not even a blanket will work. So I do recommend putting one of those rain cover shields on your stroller, putting your baby in the stroller, put that on top of it and then that way um, your baby will be safe. I will think that that's one of the ways that actually are easier to use for all active, active babies and it's also pretty safe. As long as you're using this rain cover in a well air conditioned place, there should be no problem. I'll always keep an eye on your baby as well. And there's a picture right here in case you don't know what I'm talking about. And I also have something in the description below so you can check them out. Um, now, other tips that I will give you during this time is um, when you're going to the doctor's office is to make sure to feed your baby before or after the fact that you're taking your baby to um, the doctor so that way it's safer for them and if you know that your baby likes to eat all the time um, make sure that you get them some food before or after that way you don't actually have to get them there with a lot of the different people and then your baby's feeding or drinking water or stuff like that now another thing that i recommend using is wipes like cleaning wipes so you can keep them all the time in your stroller so that way if you touch anything or your baby touches anything you can actually clean your hands right away or clean your baby's hands right away uh, usually pediatricians have a little sink there to wash your hands so you can actually use that as well and another thing that i recommend that i do a lot because i don't want to have to come home and wash uh, the diaper bag you know so i do take 
one Ziploc bag that has three um, diapers or four diapers, the wipes, and as well as the baby ointment. So that way I take the essentials to the doctor's office, but I don't have to go home and wash the entire diaper bag um, because who wants to do that, right? So I do recommend doing that and I hope that's a nice tip for you to use. One last thing that I recommend for you to do is to go ahead and follow all the instructions that the healthcare providers are providing you, you and scientists as well. As you know, get home, remove all your clothes and take a shower as well as your baby. You can remove all your baby's clothes, give him a bath right after you come from the clinic. Now, when you do immunizations, uh, it's a little bit trickier just because they will let you know not to bathe them right away when you get home due to the immunizations. Um, I'm not sure why, uh, that's actually for your doctors <laughs> to answer, but uh, if that's the case, I do recommend go ahead and remove your baby's clothes. Um, try to get one of these uh, cleansing washcloth and then just wipe your baby all over. When you get home, wash her hair or his hands very well and his or her face and I think that should be able to do it until later on during that day when you give them a bath. And those are all the tips that I have for you. I really, really, really hope this helped. And if you do have any tips that you can provide me and provide everybody else about how to protect our babies during this pandemic, please go ahead and leave the uh, comments below. I appreciate your help and I'll see you next time.